All right, so I'm walking out of Silver City. I am taking the little walnut alternate. That's the brown line on gut hooks. Um, wasn't able to mail my resupply out yesterday because it was uh, Saturday. Post office closed at noon and I was going at 12.30. And uh, today the town was pretty sleepy. Nothing was open. But everybody that's gone past on this road has waved or honked. Uh, it was a nice little town. I stayed there a day and a half. Felt like I was there longer. Uh, I'm ready to get back up. I'm going to take the Gila alter or Gila alternate. Uh, just got out of water concerns. It's been a dry year. So, here I go. It's going to be a road walk for about, I don't know, five or six miles. But that'll be all right. All right. It's about noon on the 11th. And uh, gone about seven miles road walk. Still going up the Gila River alternate, the pink line now. Uh, it just transitioned over from the brown line from the little uh, walnut alternate. Uh, just got some more of this road to go. All right, well, uh, I think this makes number two. I miss my turn. I get to walk uphill to where I was supposed to make a right. I went on straight or to the left. A little over eight miles in. I took a little break earlier. Hope to uh, make camp near some springs. Have some good cold fresh water. Here's the turn that I didn't take. I'm gonna have a little bit of uphill before I get to go back down. So Kind of a late start out of town. I think I know where I'm wanting to set uh, set up camp. It's three o'clock. I got about five and a half miles to go. Going to be quite a bit of a up, but I think I can make it. Yeah, a little bit after six. Should still have some plenty of uh, sunlight. I think at the bottom of this hill, I'll hit Bear Creek. Fill up a couple of liters of water and then have under five miles anyway to get to the uh, my campsite. All right, here's Bear Creek. This is the first flowing natural water that I've seen on this trail. I'm gonna go upstream a little bit and give me a liter or two to get me to my campsite. Grabbed a liter and drink a liter. Four and a half miles to go. Hopefully I can average more than one mile an hour going up. Cause I'm ready for camp. Ready to make my beans and rice. So I have a few more miles of uphill before I get to where I was wanting to go. But I'm still next to Bear Creek. I would have been tempted to try to find a spot to camp around here. I was hoping that it wasn't this bad inside and I'd have a windbreak, but anyway, back to hiking. I just thought it was neat. Okay, I just turned off the Bear Creek Road. My map says I'm on the trail. I see some rocks stacked up like cairns, but it doesn't look like much of a trail yet. I hope it gets a little bit clearer as I go up. All right, it's 6.30 and I have about a mile left. I was hoping to do a little bit better than this, but I should still have daylight. It's gotta be like, I don't know, half mile, maybe a little bit less. The, it's just really pretty up here, going over these rocks. With these views. It's five after seven. I made it to the spring that I wanted to make it to to make camp. It's got running water. Ran out of water about a mile ago. That liter that I took from Bear Creek. 
I'm going to look either up trail or up these rocks for a flat spot for me to put down my uh, pack and set up camp. So I'm not quite two weeks into the hike, but this is my favorite camping spot so far. This is up over those rocks from the spring. I've got a place here for me to prepare and consume beans and rice. I've got this rock shelf covering me on three sides and a tree on the fourth to help block the wind. And the spring is right down there. I went upstream a little bit just because that's a habit of mine to always go upstream and see how much better uh, spots for water I can find. And just spent a few minutes collecting, filtering water. It's a good day. It, it's 7.30 on April 12th. Looks like it's going to be an overcast day, or at least this morning. I've broken camp, drank my coffee, and 12 miles or so before I hit the Gila, that's my, that's my low limit today. Hopefully there's a lot of up and then a lot of down, and if I'm not too worn out, then I might keep going. This stream bed is no joke. It's nine o'clock. I've gone about a mile and a half in an hour and a half. I just spent a, I don't know, half hour, hour, scrambling up through this burned area. Uh, coming up from the stream bed. I think I've found the trail. So hopefully I'll start moving a little bit faster. I'm in the burned area from last year. Getting up here was real slow going. So I'm glad I brought a lot of water. And glad that I didn't say, oh, I'm going to plan to do 25 today. Because I think 12, 15 might be the tops that I can get done. There's not really a trail, but I can find footprints every now and then that other people have uh, made. So uh, hopefully I get back to a real trail soon, get some downhill, make some miles. My gut hooks tells me that I'm on trail, but I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get up these rocks. Quarter after 11, part of the day's gone. I haven't made it very far. I'll get there. All right, I'm two miles from the Gila River. Should be pretty much all downhill to there. I'm less than a mile from the Gila. Not sure how much farther I'm gonna go once I get there, but getting close. Across Pillow Creek, I'm almost to the Gila. I made it to where the Pillow Creek and the Gila River meet. I set up camp. Got here about 5:30. My feet were just aching from all the climbing down rocks and everything. The burned area wore me out. Got the Spillo Creek over there for water.
got my beans and rice going. And pretty much it. I'm calling it a day. All right, seven in the morning. Camp is broke. It's time for me to hit the Gila. Here's the Gila. Looks like my feet are gonna be wet for most of the day. This is only my third crossing. It's tricky knowing when the good place to cross is and when you'd be better off walking along the bank. And then you get to spots where you can't keep going on this bank. So I'll figure it out in the next 16 miles, I'm sure. So the Gila is over there up against those rocks. Uh, I had watched other videos and for some reason I had pictured that I would be walking upstream in a river the whole way. This isn't too bad. Having wet feet isn't bothering me nearly as much as I thought it would. Got on a path that took me up above the river. Uh, as it doesn't get too far away from the river, I think it's probably a good idea. Maybe my feet will dry out. 